Well, hello everyone, it's Liam Carlson here. So who's ready to get on to this final single-digit season of Supernatural? Um, yes, it is season nine. Um, we ended on a really intriguing manner uh, coming into uh, this season uh, with the angels falling, cast now uh, basically human. Um, after his angelic essence got stolen by Metatron. Um, yes, um, yeah, uh, it was, it, it was a really, really fantastic note to end on. I think it was probably my favourite finale since season, since the iconic season five finale. Um, just with what went down and what, um, we could be in store for, for this season, really. Because, um, it is a very, very interesting manner, really. So, um, and I'm excited to see what will unfold, really, over the course of this season. Because it's not just, of course, uh, all of the angels, uh, that have been exiled from heaven, um, wandering the earth that we've got to contend with. But, of course, Abaddon's still out there, um as well so yeah um it's going to be a very very interesting t uh, season to see what they're going to do um but i'm all here for it so yeah why don't we begin season nine of supernatural let's go in the church yeah, i don't know what i don't know why you're dying sam uh is this shut up i was gonna say is this some kind of like yeah. Because I was going to make the comment about the hazy, like, effects in that scene, but the camera tilting did it for me. The results of the body doing everything in its limited power to protect itself from further harm. So what's supposed to happen? I mean, I'm kind of getting deja vu from the season two you. opening. The machines might... Comfort! Mr. Doherty. Oh, God has nothing to do with this equation at all. I didn't mean That's it. not good enough. I mean, this is on brand for Dean, isn't it? Like, just... Yeah. Overwhelmed with agony and all of that. Like, God isn't gonna do shit. I care that the angels fell. So whatever you did, or didn't do, it doesn't matter. Oh! Okay, we'll work it out. I love that, but he doesn't know. I need you here. Okay, listen up. This one goes out to any angel with their ears on. Oh, sh oh! Open broadcast to the this angel. Winchester. Oh, jeez! Then I need your help. Let you know that I am good for my word. And uh. Yeah, he was on Dollhouse. What's his name? name? So, was it Paul? You're you, but you're really me, and, and you're the part of me that wants to fight to live. Yes. Oh I my goodness. Say, but, <laughs> but if you don't have any idea how I'm supposed to fight, then am I supposed to be fighting at all? Are you serious? Hell yeah, yes, it's just serious. <gasps> Bobby! And if you ask me, I think the kid's got a good point. Oh! Ay, ay, ay! Oh, jeez! Hey, buddy! You okay? Yeah, this is gonna take some use, uh, getting right. used to. How about a lift? Hmm? Yes. Good. I would fly, but I, I have no wings anymore. <laughs> right. What's type of cushion? You think he's got a point? Okay, I don't want to die. That actually knows what the hell he's talking about. Well, I'm in the front seat because Sam put me here because he wants to fight, right? Ah! <laughs> well, <laughs> See you, Dean. Sam, oh you my do? God! Oh. Sandwich if they have one. It's okay, I don't eat. You'll you do now. Up. Take care, kid. I hope nothing bad ever happens to that guy. Hurt me. I'm sorry. 
<laughs> the poop is not effective. <laughs> it's an angel without its wings. It's a good point. That April from uh, Vampire. That is weird with me being on season four at the minute, of course. That is. That was April. But I might have something better. I've got the king of hell in my trunk. Oh is that, shit! Is that, <laughs> sorry, is that a metaphor? <laughs> Completely oblivious. Oh, lad, she's a demon. One for yes, two for no. You alive? He's gonna be, be petulant. There we go. Oh Who's heck! Ready? Had to be done. I mean, this guy. Seem to be a bit too, but you know, Who I you? feel like we can trust him. Never mind me. You're Dean Winchester. I heard your prayer. Opportunity for you and others who've fallen to finally do what you would like to do, not just what you've been told. Exactly. No order and to what follow. Would I like to do. You got oh, freedom you essentially. I built it when I was last here, many years ago. The Grand Canyon. Oh my god. The Grand Canyon. <laughs> the Grand Canyon, yes. I, pretty, I like pretty, pretty, pretty um, famous. Brother back there did me no favors. But what strength I have left. Pardon me? I offer to you. I want to fight. I do worry do that he's like bad news, but like so far. So shadows good. say that they have left this godforsaken hunk of dirt that much a better place. <laughs> what you call dying, I call leaving a legacy. He's done so like he he's he he, he has made the world uh, an impactful place for the better, and uh, it's not just like dying pointlessly. Uh, everything I can. I, there's actually another angel in there working on him right now. What other angel? Um, his name is Ezekiel. He's cool. I mean, I think he is. Ezekiel. Yes. He's okay, we got that. We got cast the seal of approval. That like smile. It. Thousands of them out there. You said you lost your grace, right? That means you're human. That means you bleed and you weed and you sleep and all the things you never had to worry about before. Oh, that's, that's going to be interesting seeing Cass try to tackle sleep. Oh, no. Whoa. Well. Yep, she's bad news, of course. Of course. Of course. Oh, jeez. No angels are coming in. No one's coming out. You gonna be okay with these? Ah, sugar. We'll drive to the Grand Canyon. You'll tell me more about humans. And I'll show you what I'm capable of. We're going to What's become that supposed more than to be? Friends, Castiel. Oh God! We're going to become one. You are. I'm getting crazy. Psycho girlfriend vibes here. I mean, obviously she wants to possess Cass, but cray, 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 cray. Stay behind me. Oh, okay, okay. You know when I said she was a demon? <laughs> there it is. My plan is to fight. My plan is to try. My plan is to give a damn. Jeez. Are you telling me there's nothing? Huh? Wouldn't be a supernatural season for, without the brotherly squabble for. and some capacity. Fight me. Where's Zeke? <laughs> Anybody ever tell you you hit like an angel? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, is that supposed to be a compliment, though? Because angels can have a really, really powerful punch, so... Hello, Sam. <gasps> is this death? Hey, bud! I've been waiting for you. Okay, uh, look, I mean, yeah, we're getting dubious about death's appearance and all of that under grim circumstances with Sam, but it's always great when death's involved. Now, where do you go when I do this? <laughs> I think you, um, imagine if he sent them to purgatory. I 
is happening? From the inside. So what, you gonna open him up? A possession? You want to possess Sam? I told you. Oh, uh, but it it's wouldn't be. Oh my God! But not to pass judgment at times like this. Not my bag, you see. But you. Special co case, isn't he? Well played, my boy. Yeah, I mean, that, like he's impressed with what good Sam's done. It will be final. That if I'm dead. I stay dead. Yeah. Nobody can reverse it. Nobody can deal it away. Pull him out. And nobody else can get hurt. Oh, Because sir. of me. <laughs> wow, cats. Wow. Good move. <laughs> that will make God striking down Lucifer seem like child's play. Oh, Stop it. shit. I will go on Angel Radio and tell them everything unless you open your heart. Say yes. Had to be done. She was a liability, so... In that church, you and me, come whatever. Well, hell, if this ain't whatever. But you gotta let me in, man. You gotta let me help. There ain't no me if there ain't no you. Oh, my heart, no. There he is. Is his choice yes. at the end of the day? Come on. Shit. He'll have to understand. And if he does not, without his acceptance, Sam can eject me at any time. Mm -hmm. Especially with me so weak. So Sam's Sam in there and I he... he will die. What does he want? Does he want to eat or does he want to wash? Are you just gonna leave your clothes your iconic clothing there? Now wait until you try coffee. <laughs> or black currant. Forget about that. Black currant and lemonade. Cass. It, 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 it's heavenly. <laughs> Hell, if you didn't prove me right. Good. Because <clears throat> we got work to do. And he's none the wiser. None the wiser. It's like the Lucifer situation all over again. I guess a bit more benevolent, though, because Zeke... Seems okay. Of course, first impression, though Cass has got, like, he's gotten Cass a seal of approval, so that's, that's something. Um, no, I thought, like, they did a whole switcheroo situation at first. Um, especially with how, like, Zeke's. You know, Zeke is, I guess, but yeah. Um, I guess that was him relinquishing uh, uh, who he possessed and all of that in the first place. Because, of course, angels crashing. Like, they all needed to take vessels and all of that. So, yeah, that put the, the poor guy who Zeke possessed is like, what the? Yeah, so. Um, so, yeah, but. I mean, that secret's going to be like. Uh, there for long, isn't it? When he knows that he's got Zeke in his noggin, so... But that's it, though. He's just gonna think that this is Lucifer all over again when he does inevitably find out, because hey, let's keep it a secret! Yeah, that will always works well. The day that a secret does stay a secret, I will... Hell will freeze over, basically. <laughs> so, yeah. But, I mean, this is a, this is a way to basically... Yeah. Angelic Pacemaker is basically a good description there because you know Zeke's there to give him a little bit of a boof um otherwise yeah Sam dies I guess so yeah but I do I do feel a bit better now that I know that Sam is gonna definitely be uh, is still gonna be there um 
So, yeah, it's going to be interesting, though, because um, I imagine Sam's going to black out at, at certain times when Zeke takes the front seat up in some, yeah. But, yeah, I, it, uh, you, you do worry where this is going to go in terms of, like, uh, like I said, we've only known Zeke for one episode. He seems decent, cool. He's got cast a seal of approval. But, you know, just because, like, anything could happen. So, yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to keep an eye out on Ezekiel. This is the thing, though. There is a part of me that is screaming, there are faint red flags. And it's going to get to a point where I'm just suspicious about every character. The only good person is the truck driver who helped... Uh, Castiel out. That's the only good person. Um, no, I mean, I feel like, um, you know, there could be reason why they would switch things. Or, like, because there was a part of me that was worried that, you know, even though that he would, rel like, ultimately relinquish the, uh, I guess, the original host of whoever that guy was that Zeke was possessing, uh, whatever his real name was. Um, yeah, like, even though that was the case, there, there's always a side of you that's worried that Zeke is going to try some kind of trickery and they're going to swap consciousnesses in a sense, even though it wouldn't work for, like I said, the original host at all, That I guess, so... Um, but, you know, there are so... There are, there are so many... Like, there are... This episode is painting, hey, you can trust Zeke and all of that. You got Cass's seal of approval. He was willing to help Dean out, etc. Um, and the thing is, angels don't really have a good rep. So, I mean, yeah, Cass, um, we, we love Cass and all of that. However, of course, he has been susceptible to doing some very, very uh, questionable things, of course. So, yeah, um... So, there is a reason why you would be very skeptical about Zeke. Uh, I want to trust him. I want to like him. Um, who knows? But at the uh, at the same time, you've just got to be very, very cautious and you can't get too over-complacent about um, what he could do. So, I think that's where my, like, worries about a little bit of a switcheroo comes from into, like, what well, came from, should I say, because uh, obviously he is still, uh, like, Sam is still in his body and all of that, but, um, yeah, that, I feel like that's what, like, he, he could have tricked, you know, Dean and all of that, so, yeah, but, at the end of the day, uh, it will be very interesting. I, I, I mean, I'm still going to be suspicious about him. That, like, hey, you stuck to your word and all of that. That makes us cool. Yeah, I'm still going to be, you know, keeping a watchful eye on it because it's only been like one episode. Like I said, I wanna, I wanna, you know, uh, trust him and all of that. I wanna like him. I wanna think that he is one of the good ones. Same time, just gotta. You, you can't be too over complacent. Um, because this betrayal will hit you like a truck if, uh, yeah, so, well, we'll just have to wait and see, um, but, yeah, I mean, it was a very, very great start, um, so, yeah, um, first off, Castiel, I want to talk about Cast because, um, I mean, he was kind of separated from the boys, uh, for the most of, uh, most part of this episode with the fact that, I mean, he did call uh, Dean uh, to give uh, a little bit of a um, status report, I guess, uh, about him, uh, how he's angelless, and uh, yeah. But he did, of course, meet Hale, um, and um, yeah, I mean, I was, you know, wondering what was going to be the case in regards... I mean, she did leave a, a bit of an ominous opening when she was watching Cascade dropped off by that nice truck guy, so yeah. but. Um, yeah, um, there was that, like, talk about, I want to see the Grand Canyon and all of that, so, yeah, um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, she did threaten Cass at the end of the day, um, by calling out all of the angels and all of that, so, I, I it, it is funny, though, because when, you know, obviously, after she knocked out Cass and then she was just driving in the truck before, um, uh, before Cass decided to crash it, 
uh, who was kind of getting like like psycho psycho um, you know ex girlfriend or or something like that vibes from her. Uh, just just with just just with the way she acted and all of that. So yeah, but um, I did like how Cass tried his best to give her purpose and all of that. Um, he like he may not no longer be an angel but he is still going to try and do his best in the name in uh, to to give a good name for the angels um and you know with them being so lost after being exiled to earth it and and with him uh, having a bit of knowledge about earth while still being out the loop of course um he feels it's an obligation and his duty to help those who are lost so um yeah um, but it will be very, very interesting to see how Cass does, like, navigate. Because that's it, though. Whilst he still has a bit of a, a, a little bit of an idea of what it means to be human, he is still, like, 90% naive to, like, to everything. Like, especially when he was talking, like, that like that truck driver was like, I can give you a lift. Uh, I would have, uh, I would use my wings. So, yeah. But, um... Yeah, I did like that, you know, um, laundry scene. Uh, I mean, it was, uh, yeah, he, he he's already, like, feeling the effects of, like, oh, I've got no money. What do I do? Do I wash my clothes or do I have something to eat? Well, he, it didn't even matter because he wanted something to drink. Um, so, yeah. But like I said, it will be very interesting because he's got to sleep. He's got to eat. He's, he's going to be susceptible to, to illnesses. Uh, I mean, you saw how... Yeah, and and that's not going to heal. So, um, I'm surprised Cass was able to to manage actually in terms of the pain department because he scraped his hand. That's not good. That like, if you've fallen off a bike or whatever and scraped your knee, you know that shit is painful. So Cass really did uh, shrug it off and all of that. Um. And then, of course, the uh, like the the balls that he had in terms of crashing the truck, um, and you know he's 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 got a bit of a gash there, so yeah. Um, but I do like the idea that um, you know Cass is uh, going to try and uh, navigate being human and all of that. So yeah. Um, but yeah, um, I really, really did love the uh, coma scenes as well from uh, Sam. I mean, I had a feeling, um, obviously, we like when it came to the beginning that it was going to be some kind of dream sequence because of the effects, the visual effects, and of course the distorted camera at the end. That was the final nail in the coffin for me. But um, in terms of his mindset, Sam's mindset, it was really, really great. Like you had the representations of... Um, you know, both sides of his mind just telling him to either fight or, or die, really. Um, because you've got Sam who's the centerpiece, and it, it is kind of like the angel devil on your shoulder, really. Except this is um, more so, you know, the pros of... Uh, like, this is the pros of fighting and all of that, and then there's the pros of, you know, you can rest now, um, aka Bobby. And and it's really, really well represented uh, in regards to the, I guess, um, caricatures of, um, you know, the, the, the side of him that wants to fight and the side of him that, you know, wants him to rest. Because Dean never gives up. Um... Dean is always so, so determined. Impossible is not a word for Dean. Um, so he's always going to continue uh, trying to fight and all of that at the end of the day. Um, and Bobby is a very interesting cause anyways, because um, obviously he was the side of Sam that was telling him to let go. Um, and of course, Bobby did try to stay... Uh, like he he did try to take Dean's, you know, uh, I guess advice into um, that he offered in this episode. He he did try to fight and all of that. However, things became a bit, yeah. Because remember when, of course, um, Bobby was on death's door. Well, and, and then he died. Um, he decided 
to give Defa Rudd for, uh, for for their money, really. Uh, he he did not want to go, and he was, you know, willing to stay behind. And then look what happened. He became a vengeful spirit. So he doesn't want to... Like, there is that side... Like, it's very, very appropriate for Bobby to be like, don't fight this. Um, I mean, you you fought so hard and all of that. And sometimes... It, it, yeah, you like there is. It's it's not just the fact that um, sometimes the only way forward is to, to 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 take the door to death, but it's also the fact that you guys, whenever you're in this whole predicament where one of you dies, you do something very audacious, um, and at some point you're going to run out. So, but. Obviously, if you go back to the past several episodes when Sam was undergoing the trials, he was his body was just getting put through the ringer. So, um, and here we go again uh, with the angel in his head. So, and we'll get onto that in a moment because yeah, I, I'm still not sure where things are going to go and how to ultimately feel. But, um, yeah, I mean. I, I mean, it was really, really, like I said, re well represented in terms of the sides of Sam that, um, you know, wanted him to either survive or fight uh, or, or die, should I say. So, yeah. Um, but I really, really did love that scene when it came to, to him confronting death. It's always great when death is involved because um, Julian does a really, really fantastic job portraying him. But, you know, you can't, you know... No, I, I feel like none of his scenes, none of Death's scenes are underwhelming or anything like that. There's always something very poignant with his scenes. And uh, this episode was no different, especially when he uh, admitted that he was proud of Sam. And that was just really, really beautiful. Like, he's seen the good that Sam has done. Um, and yeah, Death has sometimes been on the receiving end of the Winchesters, but he's listening to Sam's words about um, letting go. And it's not just that, though, but he is, you know, taking the honour of guiding Sam to the next step, really, because of how like how impressed he is at, at the good that Sam has done. And it's just really, really beautiful stuff to see. So, yeah. But what makes things even more powerful is Sam's uh, acceptance of going. Um, he said, can you promise me that if I die right now, that's it. No way of bringing me back. And that is just really, really heartbreaking. So... He is exhausted, and he is done, and he is tired, and he is hurting, and it is sad. It is really, really... I mean, you you think back to that last... Uh, to the last episode, with that scene with Dean and Sam, and that was heartbreaking, and then it just continues. So, yeah. And you just worry about what Sam's reaction is going to be when it comes to this was the way to, you know bring you back, have an angel possess you. Um, because there might be a side of Sam, because I imagine Sam will still be feeling, um, Sam will still be feeling like these thoughts about, I should have died. Um, when he learns of the circumstances and how he's, because they, because of course, Zeke washed his, like he, Sam's on the wiser. So, um, but obviously the inevitable is going to spill out. It's just another secret that Dean's keeping from Sam. And you know where this is going to go. All hell is going to break loose between the brothers. And yeah. Um, but this is the thing where I'm like, I'm not, you know, so sure about, um, you know, this whole situation because it's another, it's a, Sam has been contending with demons, blood and all of that in him all this time. Um, and now he's got an angel possessing him, like Lucifer. Um, and, you know, that was traumatic enough for Sam, um, because, of course, uh, he, you know, went to hell for it. Um, and I could just imagine that they're going to play on the, the that kind of trauma again this season when Sam does inevitably find out, because, you know... 
with the angel being opposite to a, to a demon and all of that, uh, and like I said, de- uh, angels not exactly reputable in terms of their attitude and all of that. I can imagine that Sam is just going to feel not just betrayed that Dean would go to these lengths rather than just letting him rest, but also it's just like, I mean, I was possessed by by Lucifer himself. Um, and now I'm being possessed by an angel and, and it's just going to bring back bad memories and it's just going to pain him further and further. So I can, ima- like I said, I can imagine that this is going to be a very, very difficult subject for, for Sam to, to uh, digest because, um, you, you would be, um, you, you, you wouldn't, I, I would say that you'd be right in saying that the pain and agony, the trauma is still there in regards to, you know, what happened with, because it's only been a few years and uh, if anything, I, I would say, um, since Sam got brought back and it's still going to be there. It's still going to be, because it's not exactly something that, um, you'll forget about in a few years. So, but we'll just have to wait and see what does happen. But I just know that hell is going to kick off when um, Sam finds out that uh, Zeke took his consciousness and all of that. And now he's and now he's got an angel on the side. So usually that's a good thing. Um, but A, we still don't know how to fully feel about Zeke. Good start, but... That doesn't mean that he's going to be a good character for the entire tenure of his stay in Supernatural. And B, um, it's just another lie, isn't it? It's just another lie that he doesn't want to, you know, it's it's more secrets that Dean is keeping from, from, uh, from Sam. So, and there's also the fact that he's being possessed again. Um... By I guess a greater power, um, so yeah, he might not be as strong as Lucifer, but still not something that you. Uh, it, it, it's still not something that you're going to be like, ah, that's fine then. So yeah, but uh, yeah, we'll just have to wait and see where things go. But yeah, a really neat start po- uh, point for season nine of supernatural so yeah but uh, until then i will see you guys next time hope you guys enjoyed this reaction you check my videos on the right if you want to check out more of my content you can also subscribe to my media feeds and channel if you want to hope you guys enjoyed this reaction hope you guys take care and i'll see you guys next time toodles <laughs>